I'll have to go for seniority. So in that case, I'd like to call the Honourable Trevor Merrill. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank, thank you, thank you, uh, thank you, Mr Chairman. Um, <laughs> well, that, 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 that was an indication of someone who doesn't want to speak for the rest of the year in the House. <laughs> Don't you bother bringing a question to our procedures committee. I, 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 I wonder whether the member wants to withdraw and apologise now. <laughs> uh, Mr, M Mr, Mr Chairman, I, uh, you know, there, 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 you know, I might move a bit slowly on occasions, but like an elephant, I don't forget. <laughs> uh, Mr, 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 Mr. Chairman, um, I, my view is that this part is a is a relatively simple part uh, of the bill. Uh, it has been um, improved uh, by the Chris, by Chris Tremaine and his work, and I I do want to welcome the. Uh, uh, the new minister, Mr. Borrows, to the chair. I, I, I don't want to inquire as to what he's done wrong. I mean, everyone else who's been involved in this, uh, Ms. Mr. Tremaine has local government problems and likely to have an inquiry as to his behaviour in the Hawke's Bay. Uh, we've got Mr. Uh, Mr. Guy, whose uh, lack of ability to run a, a ministry and the problems that are with Fonterra are going to be subject to another inquiry. Uh, we've, we've had Simon Bridges. Uh, who will no doubt eventually be embarrassed into setting up an inquiry into the forestry industry. But I actually thought of all the ministers, um, the minister currently in the chair was in the clear. And maybe that's why he's in the chair. Maybe he's in the chair because the government's been so, has been so embarrassed by all the ministers that they've had involved in it. Uh, that, 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 that they're getting a clean minister in, uh, and, and, he's one, and he's one of the few. He's one of the few uh, who can who can do that, uh, Mr. Chairman. The, the, I, I think the only there's been some language changes uh, in this part, but I think probably the most important uh, difference uh, is in the new clause seven of the bill, which replaces the old clause seven of the bill, and the substantive change is the ability to set up an inquiry uh, with an inquirer, with a person who is going to be either the sole inquirer or the, or the chair of the inquiry, or even have other members as well, before the terms of reference are done. So what that, the, the, that's, the, that's the essential change in here. I think it's a logical change. Uh, I think on, on occasions people will want to get some things underway. Not the, not the hearing of the evidence, and, and this doesn't allow for evidence to be heard, but it means that there can be some more substantive consultation with those people who are going to be uh, involved in the inquiry around the terms of reference uh, and in, in, in the details uh, there, therein. Uh, so it is, it, it's logical. I, I also think, and I don't want to by any means sort of criticise my uh, my colleague Grant Robertson, but I think the uh, over 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 the over a period over the period of four years, the language has improved. It is it is easier. Well, my, my language has probably deteriorated, uh, but but the language of the bill has improved. It is easier to follow. It's easier to read. It flows more logically, uh, and for that, I'm sure we thank officials rather than ministers. I call the Honourable Member Chris Ockenbaugh.